Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. No, it's Rogue Trader still. My name is Iken. Today we're continuing and uh, maybe are finishing. It seems like we're on the uh, last leg of the blind playthrough uh, of this beautiful game. It's unfair difficulty plus with everything cranked up and we are ready to engage on that tomb world. Um, Helmsman Raver uh, says, Augur clerics detect the field of void mines in our trajectory. Transmit the deactivation code. Um, are there any traces of Kalkasar? Plenty. We've been uh, picking up the remaining Vox Echoes of Conversation Standard Signals. You know, Lord Captain, it seems to me that this place is about to fall apart. Augurs detect multiple signs of pointing to structural damage in the tomb located on the planetoid, uh, and they are very fresh. Uh, Commerce and prep prepare a landing team. Uh, we make the landing. The question now is, whom do we pick for the last uh, type of adventure? Um, I want to say that I am motivated to take the absolute OP team, because it would be just so fun to curb stomp uh, everything. But then again, maybe we should take the second team, just because it makes things so much more difficult. I will reflect about it. Every person on the bridge freezes in astonishment watching the remarkable procession approach to your throne. Officers and enforcers are glancing at you questionably, um, but do not interfere until they are ordered to. Nomos says, we come here to speak to you, Saiken. You gave us food for consideration by revealing the mysteries of our origin. From then on now we observe calculated sense. We uh, and we discovered that a great change is coming, a trial. We see a threat that which the Imperium brings, the intricate plexus of uh, tenets, the determined advance of mirrors through the darkness by the will of the golden light, all the things uh, that were strange to us, yet in woe's embrace we were born and raised. All of it is in danger, at least with the bounce of the Coronas expanse. You are the one who can stop it and Nomas must help you. We are unidentified things spawned from chance. We want to justify our existence by serving the late. What do you wish to do? Wait until unknown threat appears before you, then face it. We do not know where and when it will happen. We do not know what you will face, but we know that we want to be there with you. Is there something... Uh, there is something we require you to do. Nomos is tethered to the shell of this ship. We can only follow you outside uh, by using servitors, but they are lacking. Only modicum uh, of us can enter such primitive vessel. Our power is likewise limited. We need a vessel, a body, but very few things can house us. This is why we have come to ask you. Magos S. Kleptus has offered his shell to us. It might do. Indeed I have, says Ecleptus. I cannot think of a prouder end to my pilgrimage than the liturgy of synchronization with the Great Spirit. I will become a vessel of the Omnissiah's favorite child and step beyond the confines of wretched living existence into the halls of the Eternal Machine Song. Um, you would like to sacrifice yourself? I desire it more than anything. Why are you asking him? He is guilty by the word of the Imperium. Now you decide uh, what to do with his body. All right, there is coming a threat. Almost cannot say. Something changed after you helped us remember our birth in Epitaph. We now sense deliberation of something vast, which is actually a mere fraction. It is sleeping through the breaches. Uh, it is slipping through the breaches. It is seeping through the breaches. God damn it. it uh, mm, uh, its shoulder is pushing against the walls of the prison that are about to give but what it is we do not know we must say it frightens us to think about an unknown something that is trying to break free it is so vast too vast to measure and explain but however frightening and all-powerful it might be we are ready to face it rise against it even if it destroys us we will be a sacrifice for the sake of redemption good 
you can take as Klepsia's buddy. And the Uber as Klepsius appears. Praise the Omnesire. I kneel before his favorite child and humbly offer you this shell as a gift. May I become the temple of the machine and a vessel for its great spirit. And Normus says, how interesting. We feel restricted, but not as much as inside the servitors, so work uh, must be done for now in the new shell. Then we will be ready for journeys outside. We will leave you for now, Saiken. But in the hour when you stand before the great trial, we will return and stand by your side. All right, comrades, all of you came here. Your Lordship, the shuttle is ready to landing. Permission uh, for the exact coordinates and a secure landing. Will you authorize it? Yes, acknowledged. All right, so now the proof is in the pudding, guys. Ah, whom do we take on the final mission? I like my main team so much. I almost want to play that um, uh, that mission twice. I like the main team so much. They have done so incredibly well. Um, but then there is also the secondary team. And uh, I know that the fights would be a little bit more difficult if we're not just using Ulfar to completely and Argenta to completely obliterate every living being. You know what? Saiken is not known to pull, uh, to step away from a challenge. We're going to take the second team. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And Necrons are scary in this uh, game. Holy moly, they are definitely strong. And since we finally have found out how Saiken can uh, manage to not kill his comrades, we are good. Good. Um, how about something along the lines of this type formation? Strange. Elgir bodies disappear after death. These specimens must be defective in some way, as they're still here. Out of the corner of your eye, inside the glowing green orb mounted on the contraption, you can see the reflections uh, of people who are not here. They're looking curiously and fearfully. Oh, this is going to be a big fight. I love it. I tread a path unexplored. And this will be one of uh, the uh, parts of the enemy. A gallery the sorrow drawn out metallic groan from a painfully and uh, m uh, melancholy melody but uh, one that oozes with venomous spite the armor it's placed sing an unknown language uh, and you feel though the meaning of the verse reaching your mind unless the monster cuts the life short before that the granting roar is more like a sound of a metal tortured instrument than a sentient being speech uh, speaking. The Xenos entire skeletal bottle is made of an unknown metal uh, interlaced with greenish energy. Uh, channels aglow with currents. Below the waist, uh, the flares of the graph pod are humming and rattling. Its upper limbs fuse into a formidable heavy cannon. Without a doubt, this technology is a superb machine designed to annihilate all life. Let's destroy the, uh, the creature. Hmm, interesting. Well, Abelard, I need you down here. 
Period. We'll put you up there. Malazar down here and Jay right there. All right, let's get the battle started. Saiken. The ruin beckons. Whispers. Sets up early. Uh, I don't want to have any <coughs> any bad surprises here. Um, yeah, the uh, Elch of Sorrow we're not going to kill. Blight and uh, mm, Death Mark. I think. That is beneath me. We're starting uh, with uh, something you cannot force me a long time. Uh, with someone on this side. Um, so wait, if we were to pick this, mm, okay, we could we could try to do the this and then get a couple more. Uh, stacks. Okay, that's uh, fine. We're doing very well. Uh, let's go. I would say let's go. I am not your Zeno. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Good. This should give us two AP. There we go. Up to nine. Fantastic. Stop trying, monkey. This tedium is beneath me. Ancestors, guide me. Fortune favors the swift. All right. I'll deal death with my hand. Good, that's three down. I am not your Xenos. If it serves your cause, I hear you moving no more. That is beneath me. It's four down. We're going to reload. If I must. Because I know farewell that uh, elsewise we wouldn't be able to reload. Your Xenos pet monkey. This tedium is beneath me. Good. We're moving to here. Adira Can I fall back now? begins to uh, ignite herself. I'm not so sure. <gasps> was, was that you? Or. Begins to hand over dodging to Marazai, actually, would be the best uh, choice, but unfortunately that doesn't work, so Jay is the second best. Um, Job. Anything else? Good. <laughs> Let's move over to here, and we're just trying to hit a couple of shots. Before we move, though, Marazai. I can do that. 
with the right incentive. Don't get too cocky. I know it's all I'm over doing, there. Usually. Me? Never in a thousand sectors. I can do that with the right incentive. Oh, Fabulous hit. Very good. Unfortunately, we haven't reached uh, the point where we could uh, where we could uh, inspire someone else. Uh, next up would be Idira. Um, earlier, a little bit later, but I think we're okay. Um, Saiken moves back and let's see. Purpose guides me. Yeah, we can't really hit this guy from the front. Which is a bit of a shame. I need no guidance. But we can hit his friend. Okay, uh, how about blinding this guy and whilst we're at it, um, armor penetrating rounds. Who could use that? I think Iliad is the safest bet. Um, Marasai would be another one. Let's just use Idira for now. And since she's next. Nah, we're not uh, using that. Thank you. We're continuing to scout this guy. And if we were to shoot, that would hit all of the shots, but it unfortunately also wouldn't deal a lot of damage. Matter of fact, it would almost deal no damage. They are highly resistant against fire. Good, moving slowly back. Uh, Marazai needs that. Cover me. Hmm. Yeah, we need to reduce their <clears throat> armor. Could use a heroic uh, action, but I don't Anything want to is. do that yet. Alright, uh, I think we're giving Marazai the chance to shine.
one step closer. I will triumph. Good, Marazai's turn, and then we're taking our next one. No, I don't think so. It would be beneath me to even attempt it. No. Build. Unfortunately, we can't oh, charge this guy. So. But we can move here. Kill him and take uh, the take uh, his ultimate. Where now we're ready to go. Self bleeding. Okay, that worked better than I would have anticipated. Hits for 3,000? Are you sure, man? I will not. If it serves your cause. <sighs> if I must. I yearn for agony. You warrior of anguish! I revel in your terror! It would be beneath me to even attempt it. You warrior of anguish! Nice! Wow. <laughs> What a massive hit. Your intent. With my no weakness is hidden from my sight. If it serves your cause. I need no guidance. What a satisfying demise. Fantastic. So. Moving up. I won't waste my time on that. Okay, um, gotta be careful with the veil here. And we're also very much split, so that's a bit of a disadvantage. Let's go. Oh uh oh, Marasai took, took a not. severe beating. I don't like that. Hides here. Definitely took a lot of uh, hits. Follow my lead. Indeed.
Victory is imminent. I will do my duty. At your beck and call. I approach the designated position. All right, moving a little bit further forward. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. If I must. Fortune favors the swift. Ancestors guide me. Two good hits. I like it. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Jay moves up. I know. Heals Marasai. Living on the edge. Don't get too cocky. Um, heals Marasai. Could give an action to Saiken, which I think sure. is not a bad idea. I'd like to, but I can't. I can do that. Do a little bit of that. And Saiken goes next. Alright, uh, in which case, yeah, everybody just gets the hammer of the Emperor again. I can do that with the right incentive. What? Zero points of damage? You cannot force me, Elantak. This tedium is beneath me. I understand your intent. Good. Uh, we're continuing very much with hits there. Stop it! Guy is almost down. We'll do. Marazai gets a bit more of this. On it. Was, was that you? That, that, oh. that, and keep it going. This grand uh, this year is immediately inflicts one exploit uh, on all enemies in combat, then makes a free attack against the target. And unfortunately, that is not my destiny. let's try this. Oh, uh, that was a pathetic attack. Tribute. 
if I must. Um. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Can't. Can't. We can. Okay. I need no guidance. So that. This is beneath me. And then Marazai takes another action. Let's first of all move here. Barely out of range. That is unfortunate. Build. Bring it on. Sow the seeds of discord. I will. Abelard gets a bonus and we're good, Chief. Has been exposed. Not surprising. Those shots are nasty. I will hurt the prey. With grace and down. Get an opening. Behold. Mortal enemy. That. has fallen Abelard man it will be done. you need to tank this guy indeed it will be done victory is imminent <laughs> no matter that cost I'd rather not good we're having a couple of strikes. None of that is very meaningful. The problem that I'm seeing is uh, this thing is always turning around when it is Marazai's turn. But at least this is. That is beneath me. Yeah, that's potentially hitting it from behind. I like that. If it serves your cause, I understand. Reducing its armor. If I must. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Am I getting paid for this? Tell me, and it is done. This tedium is beneath me. Cover efficiency. Uh, no, well, that's not what we need. If we need the damage. The swift. I am not your Xenos. No weakness Very is good. hidden from my good sight. Hits. Jai Hedari. Remember the name. You've got a problem. Whoa! I want a medal for that one. Okay, two good hits. No, I should have. Never mind. Through chaos, I stride. One step closer. I need no guidance. 
I will satisfy demise. Okay, tough one. Tough one. A little bit of self-criticism there. Um, I didn't fully understand uh, the Sometimes mechanic uh, why Marazai has been taken so much uh, retaliation. And with understanding it, I would have potentially not taken it. Second point of criticism, I should have positioned myself here with Idira uh, to still remain in full cover. That was simply unnecessary. And third point, we need a second healing item on Marazai. It's just overall too much damage that he's taken. Um, it's potentially one of the builds where I would say I haven't really uh, build it uh, completely correctly. I haven't really built it completely cor uh, correctly. My main concern uh, with it is uh, both tried, uh, both tried uh, to use a heavier armor and lighter armor, was but it really hasn't worked out that well. Let me level up real quick. Yeah, his build really hasn't worked out super well. It's not bad, uh, but he's still too prone for normal attacks. All right, in the name of the God Emperor, hold the line. Well, we're going to do that. Xenos lets out a charging howl, uh, portending the imminent death. Uh, these guys are tough. Late Beras. Cryptogenic Sentinel, okay. Well. Melee characters to the front. Range characters are standing here. Idira starts to ignite herself. Buffs everyone up. Anything else? We'll do. And we're ready. Okay, cool. So, Elliot, you're the Emperor's chosen Destiny on this one. Reshaped. Let's get the smaller. Uh, the smaller enemies down first. Good, we can... Hmm. Trying to leech a few uh, stacks here. Uh... Let's do this and how many exploits do we remove? Five. Four more exploits are removed. Yeah, we're, we can do that. Very good. So that's a cell, uh, permanent self buff. Um, this tedium is beneath me. One. I understand your intent. Ancestors two. Guide me. 
This should give two AP. There you go. Which brings us to the Blight and Death Mark here. I like that. I am not your Xenos pet. If it serves your cause, I understand your intent. I am not your Xenos pet. Fortune favors the swift. Good hit. This tedium is beneath me. If it serves your cause, we definitely need to get the death mark down. I am not your Because they are hitting hard. Weakness is hidden from my sight. I understand your intent. If it serves your cause. <sighs> if I must. Fortune favors the swift. Stop trying, monkey. I will not. This tedium is beneath me. Um, in which case... I understand your Let's intent. try to hit him. Don't get too cocky. Um, Am I let's do this. this. Watch my back. Jay moves up. Don't get too cocky. I can do that with a rock. And we have enough. Well, we have enough to Don't buff ourselves cocky. and kill this guy potentially. At least get him down, that is. Remember the name. Good, this guy definitely needs to die. Oh, come on. Purpose guides me. There we go. That big course. guy needs to be scouted um, and matter of fact exposed if and we're hitting it soon. The very idea. That would be three shots. Is that worth it? Maybe. Whispers to guide my I want the medal. I thought your lid could shoot as well, that's unfortunate. This immortal does have a huge um, resists. One nice little hit. I like it. We'll do. Everybody burns uh, brighter and. I'm not so sure. We barely can hit this guy over there. No can do. Huh? What? 
Was that you? I've never felt pain like this. 209. And our cover is gone. Barely, uh, barely making it. Wow, okay. I will savor your delectable anguish. Watch. It is Hannah. No. And why would I do that? All right. I will triumph. Uh, that healing didn't do all too much. I don't like it. You owe me. I owe you one. Fantastic. So, Elliot. You cannot force me, Alantak. This tedium is beneath me. I understand your intent. That's two hits and two kills. Oh, we got a uh, letter here. That is Amidst very, very helpful. I find purpose. Purpose guides me. your cause I am not your ancestors guide me this tedium is the oh. deal of death with my hands continuing scout him I assume he has like 500,000 armor no he does actually he does not interesting Can't move too close to Idira, although healing now would have been perfect, right? Good hit. One step closer. Okay, well, ruin Megan. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Let's make sure we are really getting this guy down. Your Xenos pet monkey. 
if it serves your purpose. the swift. I am not your ancestors. Guide me. Pay with your blood in the name of Kael Amen Shakane. Okay, um... We're not having cover, so that's not gonna work. Which means we're going to resort back to... Me. Simply taking shots. I hope you Jay begins to heal herself. Tell Moves up. And it is done. Am I getting paid for this? Don't get too cocky. Psyching to take another turn. That's 4,600, I love it. One step closer. That healing did nothing. Everybody should be affected by the word of the Emperor, right? I'm wrong. Every time I'm using it, it overrides the last time. Ah, that is un so unfortunate. Did she have 29 uh, movement? Oh wow. You've got a problem? I've got a price. A moving target lives longer. Adira moves down here. Jay moves over here. Hits and... Hits. And overloads and hits. Very good. Abelard. It will be done. Indeed. Charges in. It will be done. Can't even get to the enemy. This is such a long, drawn out fight. Finally, a couple of reinforcements. It was about to get um, almost boring here, wouldn't you agree? But of course. Trying my very, very best we'll do. to get him down. Uh, but it is not that simple. Death mark. Ouch. It is 
There's the opening we were looking for. You're kidding me. Has he seriously just moved away? That is a new ability. Wow, that is so cool, but yet so ultra frustrating for Marazai, who isn't doing anything in this fight. Jay is having a couple of problems, uh, so it's up to Saiken to remedy the case. Does Iliad have uh, the Emperor's buff? Word of the Emperor, yes. And she now got Hammer of the Emperor as well. Very good. Okay, that makes sense. Purpose guides me. Where's the death mark? All right, hit him and hit him very, very, very well. Not your Zeno's pet, monkey. This is hidden from Almost my Almost got him down. I understand your intent. Ruin beckons. Sure, if you Psychon's attack here, that was a bit of a mistake. But we're not talking about mistakes, we're talking about happy accidents, so uh, I just did that in order to, of course, make it a little bit more interesting. Death mark goes down. Almost. I am not your Xenos, Pat Monkey. I understand your... This is hidden from my sight. Good Saiken gets that and an extra turn which he then can use in order to finally do what he was supposed to do. Get this guy down. Jay moves into full cover because uh, she has a problem. And Abelard can finally, finally, finally start to charge in. Taunt all of them. Okay, we're unfortunately in territory where things aren't looking that great. 
because uh, the veil is falling apart. On it. Was, was that you? Fantastic, finally. Okay, we're behind enemy lines and now it's time to reap uh, the benefits of what we were trying to do. No. It would be and I can't attack because of uh, the cover. Holy schmokes! It's not wor uh, it's not going so well for Marazai today. Luckily, for once, things are working out. Better. Uh, can we hand over action? Yeah, to Jay. A blood tribute. Nice. Four thousand two hundred points of damage. I know what we're going to do. I will Marazai, my friend. You finally get your revenge. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Once they give him the tools, he starts delivering. Gosh, you gotta hate hate them but I'm not going to be mad about you instead I'm going to punish you there we go cryptogenic uh, sentinel the colossal warrior formidable under a frame can no longer bear its weight with uh, armor plates clanging his great bulk uh, slumps a deep sound full of rage and tragic despair is born in his chest you noticed convulsions in the Xeno's limp, the limbs is flickering in his eyes. Perhaps something went wrong during the monster's awakening from stasis, damaging his engrams and plunging into madness. What are you? Xeno's limbs shiver at the sound of your voice, emits a deep hum, full of dour pride. You're unable to decipher it, but you can sense it is uh, daneful rage. Xenos dies with a piercing howl of wrath. Uh, there is no fear uh, in these sounds, only stubbornness of a true warrior. Terrible rumble comes from uh, somewhere deep inside the crypt. As soon as the green fire goes out, the fallen warrior's eyes, uh, the glow of the glyphs upon the walls become chaotic and disarray. Something just broke irreparably in this crypt. Intriguing.
Good. Given that we are already an hour in, uh, I think uh, this is uh, as good as it gets for now. I thank you for uh, being with me, and the next time we're going to see uh, Mr. Kalkasar, Xavier Kalkasar. Have a good one, and if you like <coughs> the Necrons just as much as I do, then hit the like button, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.